Hi everybody, we just mapped this foot on my lovely Arabian gelding Trig here. He's a good demo horse. And now we're gonna trim it. So keep in mind that the hoof map does not tell you where to trim the foot to. It's only telling you where your internal anatomy is located. But in Trigger's case, his foot actually mapped where the 50-50 support base that I'm going for in my trim mark, 50% heel, 50% toe, it actually ends up at the end of his toe callus. And in order to get toes back, this is his flat foot. So he's a little low in the heel, a little long in the toe. So for me, I wanna get that toe back and I'm gonna use the toe callus and some toe pillars in order to facilitate getting the toe back without making him sore. And I also wanna gather this foot in the quarters because it tends to flare out some. I'm gonna use um, my nippers first do a nipper run around, and then I'm gonna use my grinder to finish it because I really think the grinder leaves a nice finish on a foot. And I do think there's some benefit to actually sealing the tubules with the sandpaper instead of a rasp. Um, we just seem to see that horses in our wet environment, their feet seem to hold together better. So um, let's take a look. Richard. Thanks, buddy. So here's our map. Here's our back of our foot. Here's the center. Here's our toe callus right here. And the breakover line is right here. It's a little hard to see, but it's right here at the front of the, of the uh, toe callus. So you can see that this is a fairly healthy foot, good frog. And all I'm gonna do is gather my quarters and get that toe back. Make sure that anytime you're using the grinder that you have breathing protection and eye protection. It's also a good idea to make sure your horse is comfortable with the grinder before you start, but I know Trig doesn't mind. So first I'm nippering to gather my quarters. And then I'm gonna start taking my toe back, leaving a little bit of room to use the grinder. And my toe pillars are located in these quarters here. So I'm gonna make sure that I leave a little bit of room so that I just don't end up putting this horse on his sole completely because his foot's pretty soft right now and the ground is pretty hard. So I'm just gently gathering this foot in my nipper work and I'm not gonna touch these heels. He's too low in the heel on this foot and I might even lower my toe here just a little bit as well just to help him not be so heel low, long toe. All right, now I'm gonna finish it with my grinder. Here we go. I left that heel completely alone. So I left my height here and I gathered my quarters. I also rolled my toe back to that breakover line and then I lowered the toe just a little bit there. I don't want to go into that callus too much because the ground is hard right now. But you can also see that right here where my pillars are, I also left some height to my wall right here. So I'm not just slamming him right on his sole. So I hope that's interesting to see now that we have this foot mapped, what I would do with the trim. And um, I think he's going to maintain a pretty healthy foot this way. Thanks so much, gang.